Are you awake? Shh, shh, everything, everything's okay. Please, don't make any loud noises. I, I don't know if we're out of earshot yet. I can answer your questions in a bit, but for now, can you stand? I've been dragging you as quietly as I can for quite the distance, but my back is sore and Dawn's not that far out. We need to start making ground. I, I don't know how long that nullify stone's gonna hold that thrall of his. Oh, that's great. Uh, Alright. There you are. Uh, let me cut those loose for you. What kind of monster puts a person to rest with their hands bound? Must have been the right pain trying to drift off. Okay, follow me. We're gonna get you out of here. Okay, I think we're good to talk. I believe we're far enough away. I can answer your questions now. My name is Korhal. I am a ranger from the Way of the White Corona. I was sent to retrieve you and bring you back to Trentston safe and sound. Who hired us? Uh, well, he didn't rightly say, uh, but he had a good deal of coin, uh, so it didn't seem to matter much at the time. We all just kind of assumed he was a family member of yours or something, though I don't recall him ever giving a relation. All he said when we asked why was that it was very important to them. I couldn't tell you what that means, but it was a rescue mission and a well-paid one, so the guild accepted and I was chosen. Why was I chosen? Well, that's easy. Out of all of us in the way of the White Corona, I've had the most experience with necromancers. Nasty lot they are. Which reminds me, I noticed you looking back a few times. He didn't happen to perform any enchantment magic on you, did he? I can trust you're in your right mind, correct? I'm just making sure. Like I said, I've had experience with necromancers. I know what dreadful beings they can be. He didn't like, uh, touch you or anything, right? I I've had some training with counseling and dealing with trauma. If you, if you need, I can... Oh, okay. That's good. That's, that's good. I was really hoping that wouldn't be the case, because if it was, uh, I'm not really experienced with, with, um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, where are you from? Hmm. Uh, you've been wondering for a while, but you're from, <gasps> truly? You're from there? I heard that was one of the villages to be wiped out in the free spirit incident. Y you wouldn't have happened to... Oh, I'm sorry, but uh, but that's just another reason why necromancy should be wiped out. Thankfully, most city-states this side of the river have laws against it now, but it still flourishes on the other side, and I know there must be places that are hiding out on this side too. You didn't know? Yes, it was a necromancer who summoned that being that destroyed your village. See, as I understand it, sometimes there are spirits that have died that want to cling to life so desperately that they are able to withstand the pull of death. And what's more, they recognize that by assimilating other spirits into themselves, they can gain greater power to resist its pull. Through a combination like this, beings come to be that are so powerful that they can reside outside of death, even without a physical form to inhabit. You know, the necromancer's name was Verthel. At least, that's what we believe. He was a no-name necromancer, unregistered and little known practicing out of the countryside, back when Trentston and the surrounding city-states were a single kingdom. We believe he brought this being to the side of death under an arrangement where it would serve him, and in return, he would use his sway over death to keep it here. Now, normally, you wouldn't think a necromancer could single-handedly keep a free spirit from death on their own, 
but our historian at the wave of the white corona believes the necromancer involved was one of the Aboriel, a bloodline of humans that was renowned for having remarkable control over spirits and death. Anyway, we believe something went wrong. Maybe the free spirit was secretly feeding on the life force of living things and got too powerful to control. Or perhaps the contract they had made ended. Maybe even the necromancer had a grudge on the surrounding countryside. All we know is that suddenly a string of villages were wiped from the map and that somehow the spirit vanished. That's why we've got to remain vigilant at the way of the wet corona. Our guild is the one mandated by the king to keep the kingdom safe from undeath. Oh, look at that. I think that's Trenston on the horizon there. Soon we'll have you back safe and sound in the guild hall. Then we can get some grub in you. I imagine you're terribly hungry. Uh, hey, um, is it okay if I'm, uh, if I'm honest with you? Sorry, I'm not meaning to make you nervous, it's just... Listen, I wanted to let you know, you, you're not alone. What I mean to say is, m my mother, sh she was one of them. One of the victims of the Free Spirit incident. We lived in Lothan at the time. The village that would have been next to yours. I... Um, I still remember that day. My angel mother telling me to run. I... Uh, sometimes I... I wish I didn't. I don't know what I could have done, but if I could have just told her how much she meant to me, how much I miss her, I, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm, I'm not meaning to bother you with, with all this self-pity talk, all I'm trying to say is, uh, you're not alone, and if you ever need anyone to talk to, or maybe you need a place to stay, my doors are open. I wouldn't call it generous. I just... I know what it's like to be alone with... With the thoughts. After my father left, I think it was because I reminded him of mom. I... Well, I don't know what I would have done had I not found the way of the white corona. It's, it's just... I know you've had all this time to heal, but... If I'm honest, it doesn't heal, not fully, at least not for me, and I know you said you don't have a place right now, that you've been wondering for a while, and if I could help someone the way I so desperately needed help, that would mean a lot to me, if you'd, if you'd let me do that. Ah, uh, look at me, I was sent to rescue you, but... In a way, I'm asking you to rescue me. Listen, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to pressure you into anything. We have a while yet to go till we're back in civilization. But if you, if you ever want to take me up on my offer, it still stands. You've got the most earnest eyes. I would hate for there to be pain hiding within them, if I could do anything to help. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not meaning to keep pestering you, the city should be just over these next few ridges. Let's put some speed in our stride, we're gonna want to get there before the sun finishes coming up.